Hello students, I am Dr. Akanksha Srivastav and I am Associate Professor in Department of Business Administration at Lal Bahadur Shastri Group of Institutions, Lucknow. In today's class, I will continue the Payment of Bonus Act 1965. So, let us start with this. In today's class, what I will discuss the concept of set on and set off. What is set on, what is set off and what are the conditions where a company faces a situation of set on or a company faces a situation of set off. Then we will discuss about the productivity bonus. If you remember in last class I have told you there are two bases for bonus. One base is your profitability bonus that I have already discussed in the last class and today I will discuss about this productivity bonus. Okay. Then we will discuss certain deductions from bonus. There are certain deductions which an employee can make from the statutory bonus and it is permissible by the law. So, what are these deductions? We will discuss that. Then what is the time limit and mode of payment in which time bonus must be paid that I will tell you and what is the mode of payment in which form bonus should be paid that I will discuss. Then there are certain exempted establishment, exempted establishment means what? There are certain establishment where this act, the payment of bonus act 1965 is not applicable. Why? Because in these establishment there are certain other laws having some kind of same benefits those laws are applicable there that is why this act the payment of bonus act is not applicable in these establishment. So, what are these establishment? We will see them and in the last we will discuss about the maintenance of registers. Under this act employ, employer is responsible to maintain certain register, he need to keep record on certain things. So, what are these registers? We will talk about them. So, let us start with the today's class, right, yes, you have already seen this table in the last class where I have talked about three things, allocable surplus, minimum bonus and maximum bonus, right. If you remember what was minimum bonus and what was maximum bonus, minimum bonus was in, in the case of minimum bonus, there was a condition we have to check the age of the employee. If an employee is under 15 year, in that case minimum bonus was 8.33 percent of the salary and wage or rupees 60 whichever is higher, right. If the employee is 15 year or above 15 year, in that case minimum bonus was 8.33 percent of the wages or salary or rupees 100 whichever is higher, clear. In maximum bonus that was very simple, 20 percent of the salary or wages that will be the maximum bonus for the employee. Now what is allocable surplus? This I have already told you we have to do four steps to calculate the allocable surplus. Number one, we have to calculate the gross profit, right. In this gross profit, we have to deduct four items that was the step two. Four items we have to deduct from gross profit and what were those four items? Number one, depreciation, number two, development rebate, number three, direct taxes and number four, there are certain items which are mentioned there in schedule three. After deducting these four items from the gross profit, in step 3, what we will find out? We will find out the available surplus. Right? After getting the available surplus, 
then I have told you how we will calculate the allocable surplus. If you remember according to section 194 companies act in any financial year okay companies other than the banking companies those establishment who has made arrangement for dividends the available surplus will be 67 percent of the allocation the sorry the allocable surplus will be the 67 percent of available surplus and if establishment has not made any arrangement for dividend then allocable surplus will be the 60 percent of available surplus is it clear so in this table i'm talking about three things allocable surplus minimum bonus and maximum bonus right so there was a condition the minimum bonus an employer has to pay in any case whether the establishment is running in profit or whether it is running in loss so in case of profit it is okay right if there is a profit in the organization then it is okay right but in case of loss if there is a loss in the organization or employer is having losses in certain year then also he has to pay the minimum bonus this brings the concept of set on and set off let's see according to law there is a provision to settle this loss which says in case of loss employer has to pay the bonus which can be compensated when there is a profit in coming four years this brings the conception of set on and set off right if there is a loss in any year in any in any particular year in that case also employer has to pay the minimum bonus but he can settle that loss in coming four years in coming four years if there is a profit in the organization for example like just take the present year 2020 if in any establishment in 2020 there is a loss but in employer has to pay the minimum bonus so in coming four years that is in year 24 22 23 and 24 these are the coming four years for year 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 if in these coming four years there is any kind of profit that the loss which was happened in 2020 employer can settle that down this is the meaning of this line in coming four years if there is a profit in coming four years that that loss can be compensated right so let's continue the same table with some modification to understand the concept of set off and set on okay you can see in this table i have add one i have add two columns actually uh, the first three columns are same i have added two columns extra one column for set off and one column for set on okay so the first condition where allocable surplus is less than minimum bonus that means that is the situation of loss in that situation there is a set off situation for the organization if we will see in the example which i have taken here allocable surplus is rupees 60000 and minimum bonus is rupees 1 lakh so there is a loss of 40000 rupees okay so what we will say there is a set off of rupees 40000 because allocable surplus is less than minimum bonus in the third row you can see allocable surplus is more than maximum bonus that means what there is a profit in that case there is a set on in the organization right take the example if allocable surplus is 6 lakh and maximum bonus is 4 lakh then there is a profit of 2 lakh that is what the set on of rupees 2 lakh right so when set on and set off happens in any organization when allocable surplus is less than minimum bonus 
when there is a loss in the organization that situation is known as set off situation in the organization and when allocable surplus is more than maximum bonus that situation is known as the set on situation for the organization. So, I believe it is clear ok. The next, next thing is limit, there is a limit for set on right according to law the limit for set on is equal to the maximum bonus. We cannot allot more amount than maximum bonus to the set on. What is this? Just have an example. If allocable surplus is 11 lakh alright and the maximum bonus is rupees 4 lakh allocable surplus is 11 lakh and maximum bonus is 4 lakh. What we will pay? We will pay maximum bonus that is 4 lakh. What is the remaining balance? That is 7 lakh. But we will not put this 7 lakh to the set on amount. Why? Because it is by the law. The limit for set on should be equal to the maximum bonus. So, here in this case the set on will be not 7 lakh but it is 4 lakh. Is it clear? The limit for set on must be equal to the maximum bonus and it is according to the law. So, with that the bonus according to profitability is over. I will take one numerical over profitability bonus and I will explain each and every concept with the help of a numerical but first I will take all the important provision of this bonus and then I will continue with the numerical part. So, what is productivity bonus? Normally bonus is paid on salary basis but if the employer wants to pay the bonus on the basis of individual employee he can do this right law has given this permission but of course with two conditions there are two conditions as we have seen an employer can pay bonus on two bases one is your profitability base second is your productivity base in profitability basis employer pay the bonus on the basis of salary or wages right. Suppose there are two employees employee A and employee B having same job responsibilities having same job profile and having same salary or wages. But employee A is very loyal very punctual very hard working and employee B on the contradictory he is completely opposite right but because they are receiving the same amount of salary so they will receive same amount of bonus also right but if an employer want no employee a is more uh, good in comparison to employee b i want to give more bonus to employee a in comparison to employee b he can do this law has given permission for this but there are two condition which needs to be fulfilled your one condition is consent of low productive worker must be taken employer has to take permission from the worker who is low productive if he is ready he will receive the bonus on the basis of productivity employer can do this and minimum bonus must be paid in any case that is to everywhere you have to pay the minimum bonus in any situation. If these two conditions are fulfilled employer can pay bonus on the basis of productivity. It is not like if any employee is there who is not working according to the employer's expectations or according to the job responsibilities he's, he has been given. So, you simply fire that employee, but keep on hiring that employee and saying he is not working, so I will not give him bonus, that is not possible, right. If you have hired someone and if you, if you are paying salary or wages to him, you have to pay the bonus. So, this is productivity bonus with these two conditions, if these two conditions are fulfilled then employer can provide bonus to their employees on the basis of their productivity ok. 
Okay, now there are certain deductions from bonus. What are these deductions? First of all, deduction means partial payment of bonus. When this happens, there are few conditions. When an employer is liable to deduct some amount from the statutory bonus. Number one, any festive bonus or voluntary bonus or interim bonus can be deducted from the compulsory bonus. If an employer has given any kind of festival bonus like any Diwali bonus or any Eid bonus or any Christmas bonus, if he has given that bonus in advance, so he can deduct that amount from the statutory bonus okay, which is mandatory for the employer, he can deduct that amount. Second is if any monetary loss caused by the workers misconduct can be deducted from the compulsory bonus. If there is any monetary loss which is due to the employee, so that loss can be deducted from the statutory bonus an employer is liable for that. If employee damage any employer's property, so that damage can be recovered from the statutory bonus. So, these are certain deductions which an employer can make from the statutory bonus. He is liable for that. Okay. Now, the next thing is the time limit and the mode of payment. First of all, I will, I will discuss the mode of payment that is bonus should be paid in cash. I mean it is not like employer said I will give you a pick and drop facility or I will provide you free lunch coupons or I will give you some holiday packages. No, that will not come under bonus. Bonus should be paid in cash form only, right? Hardcore cash employer has to pay as bonus to his employees, right? So, what is mode of payment of bonus? That is cash, okay? Now, the time limit in which duration an employer is bound to pay the bonus to his employees. The first condition, in case of no dispute, right? In case of no dispute between employer and employee, is pending in the court, the bonus must be paid within 8 months, within 8 months from the end of the accounting year. If there is no dispute between the employer and the employee, then employer must pay the bonus within 8 months from the end of the any financial year. This is the first condition. The another condition is in case of dispute, if there is a dispute between the employer and employee and it, if it is pending in the court, then the bonus must be paid within one month of the court decision, right? So, there are two conditions for time limit. First condition, if there is no dispute, dispute means there are differences in opinion. If employer is saying something else regarding bonus and if employee is saying something else about bonus, that is, that means what? There are differences of opinion, that means there is a dispute, so the dispute is clear. So the first condition is what? If there is no dispute. There is no dispute between employer and employee in that case within 8 months from the end of, in, of the financial year bonus must be paid and the second condition is if there is a dispute, there is a dispute between the employer and employee in that case the bonus must be paid within one month, one month of the court decision the day on which court has given its decision from that date to till one month within that period of time the bonus must be paid by the employer to his employee. So, this is clear what is time limit and the mode of payment of bonus. 
Now, there are certain exempted establishment. I have already told you because in these establishments there are certain other laws from the Indian constitutions which are applicable and having same kind of benefits that is why the payment of bonus act is not applicable in these establishments. So, what are these establishments? According to section 32, number 1 employees of LIC employees of LIC here this the payment of bonus act is not applicable. Then employees defined under merchant and shipping act those employees who are registered under the merchant and shipping act there also this act the payment of bonus act is not applicable. Employees defined under dock workers regulation and employment act central state government employees, Indian Red Cross Society, university and educational institutions, hospitals, chamber of commerce. These are the establishments where this act is not applicable. Employee employed through contractor or building operations, employee employed by RBI, Employees working in industrial financial corporation under the, under the state financial corporation act, UTI, development bank of India and other financial institution in public sector notified by the central government in all these establishment in all these establishment this act the payment of bonus act is not applicable, social welfare institution and in last inland water transport corporation. So, these are certain establishment which are exempted establishment where the payment of bonus act is not applicable and why is it so because there are some other laws which are having same kind of benefits and these establishments are registered under those acts that is why the payment of bonus act is not applicable in these establishments. Okay. Now, the maintenance of registers under this act the employer is liable to maintain certain kinds of register. He has to keep record of certain things and it is under the law. So, what are these registers? Let us see employer must maintain these registers under this act. The first one is and it is known as form A. Form A for allocable surplus each and every detail, each and every detail about allocable surplus. Allocable surplus I have already explained what is allocable surplus. One more time you can uh, just listen what is allocable surplus. First of all we need to find out the gross profit right step 1. Then in step 2 we have to deduct 4 items from the gross profit. Number 1 debent, uh, depreciations, number 2 development rebate, number 3 direct taxes and number 4 some items which are mentioned in schedule 3. After deducting these 4 items from the gross profit we will receive the available surplus right and according to section 194 companies act in any financial year, in any financial year companies other than the banking companies, the available surplus will be 67 percent of allocable surplus if establishment has not made any arrangement for dividend and allocable surplus will be 60 percent of available surplus if establishment has made arrangement for dividend. So, after this calculation company has made the arrangement for dividend or he, it has not made the arrangement for dividend we will get the 
amount of allocable surplus. So, every detail about allocable surplus in any particular year we have to an employer has to maintain a register about allocable surplus. Then the second register that is form B in which employer has to maintain each and every record related to set off and set on right. In every year employer has to maintain the detail about set on and set off. What is set on and set off? When allocable surplus is less than minimum bonus that that is the situation known as set off situation for the organization and if allocable surplus is more than the maximum bonus that is the situation of set on. So, every detailing about set on or set off an employer has to maintain in form B. Then form C this is the third register which an employer has to maintain and it will contain bonus payable paid and areas every detail about bonus payable and paid and areas that should be maintained in form C. So, these are the three registers which an employer has to maintain under this act. One more thing is there employer must file the annual return in form D form D right on or before 15th February. 15th February and uploaded on the website of Ministry of Labor right. Like normally we file ITR in the same way employer has to file an annual return in the form D on or before 15th February of the year and after filing this return it should be uploaded also on the website of Ministry of Labor right. So, these are certain register which an employer maintain under this act. So, I have discussed all the important provisions which are there in this act. In the next class I will explain the concepts which I have already told you the concept of amount payable as bonus set on set off and how an employer settle these set on and set off in coming four years. I will explain all these concepts with the help of an example. So, here thank you. <laughs>